So my name is Simonetta Carbonaro. The background of my profile is the study of psychology, consumer psychology, but I have also been engaged in the studies of ergonomics and uh, uh, met uh, the design world in the 80s uh, when in Italy design and radical design was uh, uh, outlining uh, some new boundaries uh, of the design uh, commitment or engagement. And lately, the, 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 the field uh, that I am interested uh, most uh, in uh, investigating is not only to understand uh, what is all about consumer uh, needs, uh, but latent needs, uh, so the not outspoken needs, uh, the needs uh, that actually if you would ask people to tell you, they would never be able to say. And uh, this is uh, actu actually the most challenging part of my studies and my research and my consultancy nowadays. Easy, much easier than it sounds, because actually when you don't forget uh, that you are a person, that you are a human being, and you keep this point of view, whatever you are doing will become uh, a different kind of, uh, of uh, nuances and, uh, and will be connected with a whole lot of interesting other dimensions that if you instead perceive or deal with from the point of view of being a designer, being a marketeer, being a businessman or an entrepreneur or a politician or whatever, you know, then you would lose. Not forgetting that each one of us is a human being and each one of us has a perspective and a perception of what reality is and has a dream, has a latent need for something that still doesn't exist, but in the moment in which we will see it, we would recognize and say, ha ha, this is what I was hoping or wanting or expecting somebody to propose to us. So what we are risking in a way to, um, to fail is actually really the, the perspective of uh, ordinary people, mainstream, the many people that we are working with and for. And um, my concern is really to understand what is uh, the, the message that we have to inbuild in all, whatever we are going to produce that gives to people, to the many people, in a very simple way and powerful way, a perspective, a hope in this kind of future that we understand through our systemic thinking we have to implement in all the, the steps of the, 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 the production of our commodities. But the thing is, what, what is the message that we can embed into that? that gives to people really the sense, uh, the meaning uh, of this new shift in which humanity has to, 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 to reinforce and to direct, redirect itself. And this is, I think, uh, what uh, uh, I, uh, it's lacking in the whole discussion is about sustainability. It's true that we have to find out uh, what are the criteria, the paradigms that we want to accept in order to have in a way some new standards uh, that will enable us uh, to tell the truth to people when we say this is a sustainable product, of course. This is a homework that we have to do. But at the end of the, of the day, let's presume that we have agreed about what are the standards, uh, you know, that uh, we can kind of, of print uh, on top of the pack, baggage, uh, package of our next product generations. What is the message? What is the dream? What is the, 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 the cultural new uh, perspective, point of view, in terms of the quality of life that we are proposing together with these products? So this is, I think, uh, what I, I think we should uh, dig a little bit more. And parallelly, I'm not saying that what we are doing on a more humanistic uh, level or dimension uh, is prioritary uh, than uh, what uh, you know the colleagues are doing in a more scientific and um, and uh, systemic way in terms of uh, the whole complexity of uh, the supply chain you know the cradle to cradle design management but where is the culture about sustainability where is the message uh, in terms of uh, what is good for my life uh, that we are giving to people and making them 
you know, in overnight a shift from a lifestyle to the next lifestyle, which is for sure going to be very different. I think that uh, companies like IKEA are very much uh, uh, focusing today exactly what I was saying. That means make uh, the whole discourse of uh, sustainability something very simple, something that uh, will transform through the product offer of uh, such a big company into a very simple message. Sustainability is increasing our better life. And not only our better life, but our better living for the many, for the majority of people. To transform this message in this way means uh, to revise not only, of course, like they are doing in a way that I think is the most serious one uh, if, um, of uh, what um, most of uh, the, the green-driven uh, companies are doing today in terms of uh, the whole supply chain and the cradle-to-cradle -cradle design management. But it's really also trying to understand how to get uh, very close to people so that people really understand what is the, the advantage in my, my wallet, which is very important, but also the advantage uh, in the quality of my everyday life. I need to understand, as a human being, what is the advantage of getting into a green policy of life, into a green policy of uh, how to furnish my life. And if we don't make it to do this very simple <laughs> gesture of communicating it in a simple and, uh, and, 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 and authentic way, then we will not make it.